Peter was ready to retire. He had been teaching for over 26 years, and like many teachers, spent the majority of that time teaching in isolation. It was just him and his students year in and year out. And quite frankly, Peter didn't feel like he was making the progress that he wanted to. The reality was that he didn't feel like his kids were either. Peter was simply losing the passion for the profession. It turns out Peter's not alone. According to a Gallup poll, over 70% of teachers in these United States report not feeling engaged in their work. And what's more, teacher job satisfaction right now is at a 25-year low. We clearly need to rethink how we attract and retain teachers in the United States. The reality is, is that most teachers spend the majority of their time in front of students teaching. They very rarely have an opportunity to engage in genuine professional learning with their colleagues such that they can continually improve their practice on an ongoing basis. I propose that we change this paradigm. What if teachers spent more time in the learning zone and less time in the performance zone? What if teachers spent 60% of their time teaching, yes, but then dedicated that remaining 40% to engage in ongoing professional learning, the type that would help them continuously improve their practice? I call this the 60-40 model. So what does it look like? Let's return to Peter. Rather than spending most of his day and week now teaching in isolation, Peter regularly engages with colleagues. They meet together to plan a lesson, ask each other hard questions. They have an opportunity to watch one another or a colleague teach that lesson. And then at the end, they come together and they provide one another the rich descriptive feedback, the kind necessary to improve that lesson. This is similar to a clinical model in the medical profession. Imagine a, doc a doctor who takes the time to diagnose her patients, but never really takes the time to invest in developing the knowledge and skills necessary to cure those patients. Is this the doctor that you want operating on you? Well, as it turns out, there's ample evidence from the literature on successful schools that embracing a 60-40 model not only helps to improve teaching and learning and ultimately student outcomes, but it also dramatically it re-engages teachers and motivates them to direct solutions to the challenges I posed earlier. The wonderful thing is, is that this is happening, something similar, right outside our back door in Jemez Pueblo, New Mexico, at the Jemez Day School. At Jemez, Principal Freddie and the staff have built a really effective professional learning model into their daily structure so that all teachers in the school have an opportunity to improve their practice on an ongoing basis. Peter is a teacher at Jemez Day School. Another teacher at Jemez Day School, Mia, beams when she shared with me her excitement around engaging in these peer coaching cycles. She told me that for the first time she had in her career, she had an opportunity to watch her colleagues teach, and she got excited. And what's more, she said that that experience was helping to elevate the school professional culture. Another teacher at Heyman's Day School, Patrick, discussed how he regularly engages with his colleagues to look at student work, and how this professional learning design catalyzes rich, discussions around content and pedagogy. Peter, Patrick, and Mia all insist that spending more time in the learning zone has dramatically helped them be more effective teachers, but also re-engaged and excited them about the teaching profession. Allow me to introduce to you three amazing teachers at Heyman's Day School. After being out of the classroom for a number of years as a math coach, I returned back in the classroom as a second grade teacher. 
and we started peer observation um, sessions with my colleagues and wow, what a powerful tool that is. I've been teaching over 30 years. I'm, I was coming towards the end of my career and I was already making plans what comes next. I went back to get another master's degree and this really motivated me. The work that we do is empowering because not only do we get to work with our peers, but the work that we do really helps our students now rather than later. Observing other, t other teachers within my own school, it's amazing to see the expertise. Education was a great career and it still is for me because that's because of this model that, that uh, we did at Hamish Day School. For the last nine years, I've been working diligently alongside my colleagues at the Los Alamos National Laboratory Math and Science Academy to help teachers and school leaders build professional learning systems into their workday. And what we've discovered is quite frankly really encouraging. Teachers regularly report that they're making more progress in their work. And since progress is a fundamental driver of intrinsic motivation, those same teachers report being more excited and motivated about the work that they do, more motivated to come to work on a daily basis. This is not a radical idea. It's being done by um, Toyota and other successful companies around the world. It's also being done by the world's leading school systems, most notably Singapore, Finland, and Japan. And what's more, in these same school systems that have embraced professional learning, as a core feature, teachers report higher job satisfaction. Allow me to introduce to you two more teachers, amazing teachers at Hamas and Principal Freddie. I think one of the biggest things about the work that we've done is it's allowed all of us to be more empowered in our own work. It's, it's the staff that are taking ownership of this that I think that has really allowed us to take the lead on this and we can see the true benefits of this, which is really the students. What's exciting to me as principal is when I walk through and see the process going, uh, I get real proud because it's all initiated by them and it's all carried out by each teacher. All that I think has really opened my eyes into what uh, a highly effective school could be. Um, and I feel like it's really taking my teaching to the next level. Now I'm in my 11th year of teaching and I feel like I'm still getting better. It's phenomenal to see what happens as you watch the staff take ownership and take a leadership role in their own professional development. Quite frankly, embracing a 60-40 model validates teaching as a profession. It says to teachers, we value you as professionals and we're willing to invest in you and the system in which you work so that you have an opportunity to get better on a daily basis. Is it easy? No. It's going to take time and effort from all involved, especially a school leader who knows how to make it happen. But we're practitioners in the field working in a northern New Mexico context on a daily basis. And our observations are consistent with the world's leading school systems. Embracing a 60-40 model not only helps to improve teaching and learning, but also re-engage and motivate, excite teachers of all kinds, especially the ones like Peter who might have been questioning leaving the profession. I ask that you challenge the status quo. Ask your policymakers to make the 60-40 model a reality in our New Mexico schools. Advocate that teachers spend more time in the learning zone. And if we do, our teachers, our students, and our communities like that of Jemez will flourish.